USC and Washington uh, kick it off this Saturday in LA. What are your thoughts? I I've been racking my brain on this one. Um, the bias aside, because I've been a, a Washington supporter this season, I've, I've been really in on them and what I think that they can accomplish. I, I really do see what their ceiling is. And I see them as a team coming into this matchup with an opportunity to solidify themselves, to really prove who they are. They have had two bad games the past couple of weeks, and they feel like the type of program that sh- that they're gamers. You know, they show up for the big games, but they're not going to show up for the bad ones, and they're going to play like crap against those bad opponents. Big game. They showed up in that game, and they played as sure. well as they needed to, to to put themselves in a position to win it. Sure. Look, plain and simple, in the important parts of both of these rosters, USC is just porous. Their secondary outside of Kalen Bullock has been abysmal. They're both of their linebackers, Mason Cobb, Taka Curtis, have been two of the worst linebackers in the Pac-12. And oh, yeah. one of, Curtis is young, Cobb is not, and he doesn't have much of an excuse for his poor play. They are a mess defensively. And I understand that Washington has not been perfect over the past few weeks. And right now, their defense is allowing some of the most rushing yards in the country and their passing defense is 116th in the country. But if this game is truly going to be a shootout, the team with the far worse defense is going to be the one that struggles to keep up. The other side of this is USC's offensive line is not very good. It has been very bad over the past few weeks and Caleb Williams has been getting pressured and he's been getting sacked at a rate that we have not seen before in his career. So if that happens, if if Washington gets home, it's going to be another long day for for this uh, this USC offense. Winning cures all sins. Losing magnifies them, especially when you're a big program like USC. You brought something up. I wrote it down too. This is why I changed my pick, Joe. If I would have came out here and said who had the worst pass defense, Washington or USC, who would you have said? Statistically, it's Washington. Hold on, just just humor me. Who would you have said? Statistically, it's Washington. Who would you have said? USC. I would have said You USC. would have said USC. But the truth is, because Washington is winning, okay, it gets overlooked how bad their secondary has been. So when I told you today, so earlier this morning, just so everybody knows, I picked Washington, okay? But I went back and watched more film. Joe Stanford was pushing them around and completing wide-ass open passes. I understand the problems that USC has. I, I get it. You're not wrong about Tackett Curtis. Tackett mm. Curtis, the Cal game was the worst, pro- arguably one of the worst games at linebacker I'd seen. It was that bad. He He was abysmal against Cal. He is still young. Washington is 116th out of 130 teams in the FBS in passing yards allowed. Joe, they're just as bad. They're just as bad as USC is. I think that Lincoln Riley's are going to make I, – I, I like that this game's in L.A. I like that this game's at home for USC. Do I think Washington can win? Absolutely. Do What I say, it, if them winning is a – extremely massive win no but is it a big win? yes but another thing though joe rush defense pass defense rushing offense okay 117th in the country their passing defense and rushing offense are the most abysmal of any power five teams in the country they don't run the football and they cannot stop people through the air You know who that sings to? USC. That is how they win. Because if you cannot cover them and you do not want to take some of the air out of the football by running it, you can't. It's going to be a shootout. And I am going to take Caleb Williams. I can't believe I'm picking this upset, but I am going to take Caleb Williams and USC at home at night in the Coliseum. For them to take over the Washington Huskies. Let's not act as if I know that you love Washington. I've told you repeatedly on the show I'm a Michael Penix homer. It's a team game. I think USC goes in there. Carnage, chaos in the pack. And the final year, 
they take down the Huskies. I just don't see it that way. I, I think that we see this game playing out similarly. I think we acknowledge that this is going to play out as a shootout because of the way that both of these defenses have been porous. They have been giving up tons and tons of yards to their opponents. But at the end of the day, throughout all of this, I have seen one offense falter significantly more than the other. I understand. I understand that that Arizona State game for Washington was a very bad performance. What was Stanford? The Stanford game, they did, they were fine offensively. No, they were fine through the air. They, they were, were fine through the air, yes. on the ground. They cannot run the football. I've they tried. don't need to run the football to win. Joe, I don't think that you, they do. There's going to be a time. There is going to be a time when you have to run the football. Sure, and they can pick up those yards if they need to against a terrible USC defensive line that's not stopping any run games. Again, I understand over, uh, the, past few, over the past few weeks, I, I completely understand that Washington has not been great, but I see more talent, better talent on that defensive line that if they show up to play, and then the, in that linebacking core, if they show up to play, they're going to outplay that USC front seven. The biggest, even bigger defense for me is the offensive lines. I know that you don't like that Washington offensive line. I think that the no, issues, they're better than USC's. Without a doubt, the issues is, is at both guard spots for Washington with Kalepo and Hatchet. They they haven't been great, but their center and their two tackles are two of the better players in the Pac-12. Even though you don't agree with that, they are so much, so much more vastly better than that USC offensive line that has been dog shit. And their stats would probably be, in terms of sacks allowed and tackles for loss allowed, would probably be so much worse if Caleb Williams wasn't there. If there was a normal quarterback, that dude would be getting sacked five, six, seven times a game, I would bet. So my whole point here is that if both of these teams match up very similarly, I got to go with the team that's a little built a bit better in the trenches. I don't disagree with your logic. I, I mean, I don't disagree with that. The problem I have, or what I like, is not uh, is not on the stat sheet. It's not something that I can come in here and just say. Kind of like how you, you know, how you had a gut feeling about last week Utah, mm -hmm. but and you're wrong. And it, but I, I, I'm falling in the trap that you did last week at Utah. I liked that this game's in L.A. I and you know why? Name a big time Washington game on the road. That's a good point. They haven't traveled well. They have not traveled well. And what has happened when they've had to travel? That offense, everybody looks at Michael Penix. At, so get, here, stay with me. Everybody looks at Michael Penix. Oh, he threw for 304 touchdowns. Sure. Okay. I, I, I cannot dispute that. It's not created equally. Like just because you threw – he threw an interception last week, Joe, against Stanford that should have lost them the game. Again. Okay, they were struggling down the stretch. They do not go on the road well. Uh, go on the road well. Here's another thing, Joe. There's only three teams. Three. I think this is interesting about Alabama too. In the last 20 years, that have won back to back away games. Okay, in their schedule, meaning back to back road games. 2019 LSU, 2022 Georgia. This year's Alabama team. I might add, okay, that just goes to show how good their defense was. And can Washington be another team that does that? I'm playing the odds here. It's a 98% likelihood that teams play, that play back-to-back -back games on the road don't win. Again, out of the last 100 times that it ha has happened, like we mm -hmm. talk about this on AYS, my buddy Carter brings this up all the time. Joe, there's three teams out of 100. Three teams that have done that. They've all been kind of recently, too, which is interesting. But nevertheless, I'm going to – I think Caleb Williams, Lincoln Riley, and this team, they're going to find their way a little bit, okay? Zachariah Branch is back. You got some dudes on the outside. I, I, I'm taking USC, man. Give me the upset.
I still have to also factor this in, and this is something that I know USC fans want to turn a blind eye to, but Ohio State did it too. Look, we can agree here, Blake. We can agree here that this USC team is slowly approaching quit watch. They are a team that is, they're not putting up a lot of fight. We saw the way that they've, yeah, they have folded. No fight. They, they have folded in positions where their backs were against the wall multiple times this year, and in their two losses to Utah and to Notre Dame. Well, they almost came back and won that game, but they 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 can't make a big play at the end of the game, and they in they fairness, do not. Yeah. In fairness, though, so it's different, Joe, because so has Washington offensively, but they're still winning. They're true. still finding ways to win. True that that's true. But like Oklahoma, when you play with fire, eventually you're going to get burned. You I don't disagree. Get- I don't. I don't disagree with that. But as I, one of my biggest cliches is good teams find ways to win when you're playing bad, and I think that that is more reflective of their performance over the last couple of weeks. Is that they have played poorly. They have been overlooking opponents and they've played like crap they feel like a team to me that is going to step up to the occasion against a usc team might i add the coliseum's not hard to play in it's not it's not anywhere near the level that it was in the early 2000s As since I, then i never said anything about home field advantage and i'm not direct i'm not directing that at you i'm yeah. just directing that at the usc fan base it, it's not a difficult necessarily difficult place to play and we saw that with utah utah walked right in there and that's, threw up all those points. That, that's different. Joe, when a team is struggling, okay, hear me out here. When a team is struggling, what what side of the ball would you rather struggle? Offense or defense? If you had to pick. I, I'd rather struggle, to, struggle defensively. I would too. Because, again, I, I, I might – look, I might look dumb, okay, and the people in the comments call me dumb all the time. Caleb Williams is still Caleb Williams. And there's still magic in that arm. There's still magic in those legs. And I just think that they're due. I think USC's due for something. I understand that they're not a great team. I'm not coming in here saying that they're a good team. Mm -hmm. What I am saying is, is I still think, for whatever reason, my gut is just telling me to go with the Trojans here, man. Because I do think, and look, if it's not USC, I still think Washington is going to lose one of these along the way. I don't think they – I don't know if they get to Oregon. i, I be honest with you, I don't know if they can get to Oregon unscathed. I I See, that's where we we look at the – actually, let me throw this out there. Okay. I think if they beat USC, that's evidence that they're going to finish unscathed, and then they'll lose to Oregon in the Pac-12 championship you, game. You're that's Cam what Ward, I think is going to happen. Ward, man. What if Cam Ward upsets them at the end of the year? They look like shit right now. They look I like can't. Dogs. I can't put any you, faith hey, in them. You, hey, do you remember that don't, time you put Washington State in top ten? Did, that didn't happen. I don't pull the tape. I don't hey, remember you that know happening. What's funny, what? somebody earlier in the comments said that you need to get off of Alabama's nutsack, which is not funny, but then at the same time, it kind of is. Was the All word right? nutsack said, or no, was it the it's other not word? nutsack? So okay, paraphrasing. Okay. Told, yeah, I'm paraphrasing. And you know what's so funny about that? Do you know what the whole conversation about me saying they won't beat Bama started with Washington State? It did. Wait. <laughs> it did. Oh, it yeah, did. Uh, man, come on. Oregon I've beats Bama. I still anymore. stand by that. I still stand by that. Washington State would get obliterated by Alabama. I'm just going to leave it there. All right.